If you've ever tried a blooming onion before, then you gotta try this cinnamon sugar blooming apple pie. Here's how you do it. Start off by combining two cups of buttermilk and two eggs in a bowl. In another bowl, combine two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cinnamon and nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. When the bowl of wet ingredients and the bowl of dry ingredients are done, set them aside. To cut the apple, I'm using an apple cutter and these two spatulas from preventing it from cutting all the way through. An apple cutter can easily be found on Amazon or in your grandmother's junk drawer. When the apple's cut and you can see each section, bring it over to the bowl of wet ingredients. Fully submerge the apple in the buttermilk and egg mixture, and then bring it over to the seasoned flour and coat it completely, making sure to get it inside each groove. Repeat this for a double dredge, and then bring it over to 350 degree Fahrenheit cooking oil and fry it for roughly five minutes. In the meantime, make the cinnamon sugar. Combine one cup of sugar with two tablespoons of cinnamon, and then when the apple is done frying, toss it in the bowl of cinnamon sugar and thoroughly coat it. Each piece of this blooming apple is like biting into an apple pie, and even better with some caramel.